folks, welcome back to James Cadillac Forge. Uh, nice rainy, dreary Sunday out here. But, nonetheless, we're going to forge on. Uh, you've seen in one of my previous videos, I'm making a lot of chain for my anvil. Uh, and I'm going to make a set of tongs to hold that chain because what I've got currently is not working well for me. So, um, some people call them rivet tongs, some call them chain tongs. They work great for both. Uh, but what we have here is some half inch stock. Cut two 10 inch pieces, it's gonna be plenty enough. Let's get it in the fire, let's get started. I do, I wanna grab an inch of this. We're gonna put it all set there. That's gonna create, essentially, the way you make these, you kinda make them like flat knit tongs until, tongs until the end when you do the curling for the chain. Or the rhythm. So we're going to draw this out to a little bit of a tapered point. Okay, so take you an inch. Now, we started here, like this, we're going to take, go across our anvil, the opposite face, go 90 degrees, turn it left, 90 degrees, come to a 45 with the face of the anvil, we're going to set it down there, half on, half off the head of the anvil. See what we did? created that 45 right there to keep it clean. Turn it over, go forward an inch, mark with your hammer. Okay, we was that way, we want to turn left 90 degrees, forward one inch, right there. Do a set down there for your ball. up a little bit that boss I'm just going to use a rounding spring suede. Hardy tool, um, half inch. Should do it nice and clean since these are tall grains. Of 
cleans it up rather nicely. that up. Alright. Put them together. At this point you got one of them finished. Time to take yourself inside town for a second and grab your cold beer. Have your break. Then Go make another one just like the one you just made, okay? That's all it is. Make two of them exactly the same. All right, I'm going to skip through that part for you and not make you suffer through it watching it. Just make two of them. Folks, here we have it. Two identical tone blanks. They fit together great. Just like they're supposed to. Now, a lot of folks punch their hole. I like to drill mine so I can be exact and precise with each one that we add on redo it if anything happens so I'm gonna go in here and drill a quarter inch hole both of these and we're gonna use a quarter inch rivet stop right. got our rivet got our holes drilled everything lines up good Nice and clean now, see? Now we're gonna put this all in there together and get rid of it. Just put it over the edge halfway around and start kind of like you're doing a scroll. Scrolling it back on both of them. that in there. Close it up some. And heat it again. Alright. Now just round it around your length. 
your link. Works as intended. I believe. I don't believe she's gonna pop out of there. All right, guys. Here we have them. Chain making tongs. I think they turned out rather nice, actually. For my first attempt at chain making tongs. What do you think? Yeah. Not too shabby. Well, I'd say I did alright. Uh, I'm not too bad at making tongs. I've made them before. It's obviously not my first set of tongs I've ever made, but I've never made a pair of these. But they work great. They hold the chain in there nice and tight. You ain't gonna move it. It's not gonna fly out of my hand. A uh, gentleman had commented on one of my videos and told me, uh, said that to make a pair of these and try bending my links over the horn instead of on the vise. So, inspired me to make these tongs and I'm gonna give that a shot see if it can speed up my chain making production time so um, thank you for that tip um, if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already of course please share the video with your friends help this channel grow as much as we can it would be awesome it means the world to me um, and again thanks for taking time to watch the video have a good day and we'll see you on the next one